what's going on YouTube in today's video we'll be working on the Yukon and as you can tell by the thumbnail I am going to be showing you guys more about the barn door LED tail lights for all you guys that wanted to know or had questions on how to install these LED tail lights into the barn door style Tahoe and Yukon and also towards the end of the video I will be talking to you guys over some good news on the channel and if you've been keeping up with the channel you might have already noticed it but like I said I'll leave that towards the end of the video I also wanted to say thanks to all the new subscribers likes and comments and if you're new to the channel let me know down below also and let's get to it all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and show you on my LED tail lights right here and it won't be a full install but I will remove the LED tail light and I'll show you the wiring and like give you some tips and stuff like that you know like if you have any questions on them but I'll also link them down below in the description so that if you want to check these tail lights out I'll link them and then I'll also add some other link so that you can see different designs or like different you know style LED tail light that'll be different colors if you don't want this color so I'll leave that down there but as you know the barn door has a hinge in the bottom right over here that moves around so if you don't get the right tail light it'll crack the tail light and that's why it's so difficult finding the tail lights for these trucks and a lot of the manufacturers and the websites will usually just list the regular um, tail lights that will fit the hatch and not the barn door because they'd rather not mess with it you know and get returns and stuff like that so that's why they do that but these trucks have this plate that you know if you put a regular one it's not gonna fit and like I said, once the door opens, if you do make it fit, like shaving it, it'll crack the tail light. Because like I said, I've done that before because I was looking for them and it was, you know, kind of difficult. Also, the first time that I bought these LED tail lights, when I got them, they come with their own wire harness. And like, since I didn't know, I got these like a long time ago. What I did was I cut the plugs and I hardwired them. But you don't really have to do that. That's also why, like I said, I mean, I'll give you some tips on how to install them and I'll show you the wiring and stuff. But that's what I did and I mean to me it was easy because I like to wire stuff up and you know I, I don't have no issues with that but my main concern was you know actually having the tail light fit without cracking it because like I said I had purchased the regular ones and sometimes I would shave them off and they would still crack because of that bulb that would hit the bottom but let me go ahead and take these tail lights out and show you what I'm talking about and unscrewing the tail light is pretty simple as it is um, mine just have seven millimeters but most of them will come with a stock, you know, Phillips head screwdriver. So that was just their two screws inside there. Like I said, mine were seven millimeter. Yours are probably gonna be Phillips if they're original. And then, you know, you just wiggle it right out and it'll come out. There's nothing else holding this tail light in place if you've never taken it out. It's pretty simple. And here you can see this is what the tail light looks like. It looks like a regular tail light, but whenever you flip it around, You'll notice that the connector is a little bit different on the top and the bottom. The middle one stays the same. And other than that, I mean, it looks just like a normal, you know, Tahoe tail light. So I'll set this one right now and I'll go over it in a little bit. Let me just show you like going over the wiring first because this is going to be, you know, where it's a little bit trickier because this is where I had messed up originally also because I had cut the plugs. So you can tell that they're different. Like I said, I, I had like soldered them in there. And you don't really have to do that because they come with their own harness and this harness will run under the car like right straight under if you notice that the wires going all the way down it'll be in the quarter panel so if you look down here there's two connectors and let me see if I can give you a better view under here all right guys so here you can see better there's one connector and here's the second connector so those two plugs go to the tail light and then also if you notice I do have some resistors right here and these are load resistors so these are for your tail light so it doesn't hyper flash but like I said the top two plugs right here those are gonna go straight with the harness all the way to the top of the um, tail light right there and then I added these resistors down here so that the truck wouldn't hyper flash when I was doing the turn signal they actually come with like a black box or two little black boxes but like I said I had hardwired them so what I did was I put these two right here and since they get hot I zip tied them to the body right there but I'll go ahead and show you right here on the passenger side as well like I said it goes down right the quarter panel in this area and it's gonna be the same thing on both sides so it'll have the two connectors here you can see part of them right here so that's one and two and 
it's the same basically you know left and right and then here again i have another set of two of the load resistors for the hyper flash and if you don't know what hyper flash is essentially it's just when your turn signals are just you know flashing too quickly like if your bulb is out but you'll need two of those right there and i do zip time to the frame because they do get hot other than that you can use the ones that come with it i mean i would recommend using the ones that come with it and you can mount them behind the tail light right in this area right here where i wired up my previous leds i'm not sure if you've seen my previous video but i had done some custom leds in here and also like i said if you haven't checked it out i'll go ahead and link it on top of the screen right here and it's a pretty cool upgrade right there i like it a lot but like i said let's go ahead and check out the rest of this tail light right here here you can see the aftermarket plugs on the LED tail lights are different than the factory ones. And right in the middle, it, this one does use a stock style. And then on the bottom again, it changes to the three pin harness because they do come with their harness. And it runs, like I said, down to those two plugs down there. But the biggest difference on these is this bottom area where it's all flat. If it doesn't look like this, that means it won't fit your, your Tahoe with the barn doors. So other than that, that's gonna be the biggest difference that, that empty space in the bottom. Also remember that when you purchase these tail lights, they'll come with their own wire harness and they'll come with those two little black boxes that will have to be mounted inside of the, the tail light or behind the tail light. But like I said, I have these LEDs on here. So my wiring is right under there. Like I said, you can tuck in those boxes in here if you don't have this. But other than that, you can run your wires down and stick the boxes underneath the wiring harness so that they don't hit the hinge or the tail light. And you know, there's plenty of space back there under this area or near this area down here where the plugs were at also if any of those boxes ever go bad you'll have the hyper flash or if they're not working you'll have hyper flash and like i said the turn signal will just be blinking super fast or faster than the normal speed and if those boxes ever get messed up or anything like that you can also upgrade yours to the low resistors that i have and you should be good to go right there in a minute i'll be showing you guys some other models but as you can tell right here this one has the reverse light in the middle and then on the top it has my turn signal and right at the bottom it has my brake and parking light but the bottom piece right here has nothing in the back it's all clear so that this hinge won't hit it and it won't crack your tail light from hitting on it or you know that plate not letting it sit properly so it'll have this area where you can't use and then the top space will be available for you know your wiring and all that stuff right there so I'll go ahead and show you some models right now on the screen, but some of them will have, you know, the turn signal or the parking light and reverse light in different orientations, except in the bottom, they won't have anything. They'll have to have the free space just like this. So if it doesn't look like that, then it won't work. But other than that, you know, your reverse light can be on the bottom where I have my parking and brake or, you know, in different places. But I like this style, so that's why I had purchased this one. So the models that will work will not have any light at the bottom. It should be like a reflector and everything else will be on top. So under the links, whenever you check out the tail lights, like you'll see the actual tail light. And then whenever you swipe to the left or to the right, you'll see the other pictures that come with it. So like in this case, this is the one that I have right here. And when you swipe to the left, you'll see this picture right here where it shows the tail light and it's wiring. And if you notice at the bottom, it has those two little boxes. Like they might be different color. This one is like a blue and a black and then that empty space so that's one feature that'll help you know that it'll fit the barn door model right there and i'll show you some other models like i said earlier whenever you click on the links you'll see that you know it'll have this tail light and then it'll have other color tail lights that you know you may like because everybody likes different colors you know not everybody wants to have the same one but all of these will have the same thing in common where you can notice the bottom piece is a reflector on all of these so that's that empty space that was back there because you can't have no bulb so as you can see the reverse light is on top of that bottom reflector and that's the only way that'll make it fit without cracking the tail light other than that they'll come with their own wiring harness and when you swipe to the left you'll see that the boxes are there and also whenever you go into the description of the item it'll say that it won't fit the barn door model even even though it will and whichever tail light you pick whenever you swipe this is the picture that you want to make sure that it's on there as you can tell the boxes are on that flat area but you won't be putting them in, in that area so every time you swipe to the left you just keep going to whenever you see this picture then you know it's going to fit because that flat area is supposed to be for those two boxes but you're not going to be putting them on there because it'll crack the tail light right or they won't go in because of the hinge in the way 
But like I said, you can relocate those two boxes to behind of the tail light where I had my LED wiring. Or if you have that wiring, you know, if you're doing that upgrade, you can fit them in there. And if there's not enough space, you can go under the tail light where the two plugs are at or in the area. There's plenty of space to hide them. Also, whenever you read under the description, it says it won't fit the barn door model. Don't worry about it because these will fit on there. As long as you go into the pictures, like I said, when you swipe to the left, this is the image you'll want to pay attention. As you can tell, when you remove those two boxes is that flat area, which will give you the clearance for the barn door hinge right there. But other than that, I mean, those are some of the models that'll fit on there. If you find other ones, like I said, just make sure that picture is there and you should be good to go. And whenever you get your tail light right away, you'll be able to tell with this flat spot that it'll fit right there without those boxes and you got the right tail light. But like I said, those are under the link in the description and all those will fit right there. But you can also look for other models if you like. Other than that, you should be good to go, like I said. But if I missed anything or you had any other questions, let me know down below in the comments and I'll try to answer them as well. And as far as for the good news on the channel, you guys and girls might have just noticed that we just reached a thousand subscribers this weekend so that's pretty awesome i never thought i would have you know reached a thousand um i really have no words but i'm very grateful for every single one of you for watching my videos the likes the comments you know all that stuff for subscribing to the channel you know all that is you know new to me but like i said i wasn't thinking of doing youtube but i actually enjoy doing it and i want to you know continue to you know get better at it so I've been thinking for a while, I do want to do a small giveaway for you guys. So I'm not exactly sure what the, what it's going to be yet, but I'm thinking maybe like some t-shirts with the Amigo Customs logo or some decals. So maybe later on I'll set up a poll and see what you guys think about, you know, the giveaway items that I want to put on there. So I'm thinking of having three winners on the giveaway. You know, I'm not exactly sure on the details right now, but I will have like some requirements. You know, you'll have to be, of course, subscribed to the channel and most likely follow me on instagram but like i said i mean i'll set that up later and if this video gets up to 500 likes i'll consider doing five winners instead of the three so if you want to participate make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll give the rest of the details on my next upcoming video so if you want a chance to win on this giveaway make sure you're subscribed and turn on your bell notifications so whenever i drop the next video you'll get notified right there and if you made it to the end of the video make sure you drop an eagle in the chat so i'll know and I'll see you guys in the next one. We're gone. Level up, level up, level up, level up. Hey, I gotta get you to level up. Now I gotta push you to level up. Hit me as soon as you level up. I've been with this shit while me level I've been up. Working all the time on OT. Trying to make it killing like OJ. Holding up the city that's no sleep. But I did it for some years with no pay. Tengo el fuego, saludos, mi perro. Say you that me mucho, llegar hasta arriba. Came from the bottom, persistence have brought us to be in position. Much more than a dreamer. Got me a chill out of just like Selena. I stick a Serena, but nasty as Trina. I be on fire on top of my game and they tell me the same. Mejor en la liga. I learned from Tupac and Biggie and Nas. Exalt the city, it's really the cause. On a new level, they see that I want it. Bad as a bitch, that's revealing the flaws. Yeah, get where I need to be. I got that bomb, yeah, that TNT. I live for the moment, every